Camels are mammals with long legs, a big lipped snout and a humped back. There are two types of camels, dromedary camels, which have one hump, and Bactrian camels, which have two humps. Dromedary camels or Camelus dromedarius and the domestic Bactrian camel or Camelus bactrianus were named in 1758 by Swedish zoologist Carl Linnaeus, who only knew of the domestic variety. Wild Bactrian camels or Camelus ferris were discovered in 1878 by Nikolai Prievalsky, a Russian geographer who explored Mongolia and Tibet. For many years, the wild Bactrian was thought to be a subspecies of the domestic Bactrian. However, in recent years, DNA analysis confirmed that Camelus ferris was a separate species, according to the San Diego Zoo. The main difference between the two species is that the wild Bactrian has three more chromosome pairs than the domestic Bactrian. Here is the classification of camels. According to Integrated Taxonomic Information System, Kingdom, Animalia, Subkingdom, Bilateria, Infrakingdom, Deuterostomia, Phylum, Chordata, Subphylum, Vertebrata, Infrafylum, Nathostomata, Superclass, Tetrapoda, Class, Mammalia, Subclass, Theria, Infraclass, Eutheria, Order, Artiodactyla, Family, Camelidae, Genus, Camelus, Species, Camelus bactrianus or Bactrian camel, Camelus dromedarius or one-humped camel, Subspecies, Camelus bactrianus bactrianus, and Camelus bactrianus ferris or wild Bactrian camel. The two types of camel are found in different parts of the world. The dromedary camel, also called an Arabian camel, can be found in North Africa and the Middle East. The Bactrian camel lives in Central Asia. No matter the type, camels are usually found in the desert, prairie or steppe. Though many people think that camels only live in hot climates, they do well in temperature ranges from minus 29 degrees Celsius to 49 degrees Celsius. Camels' humps consist of stored fat, which they can metabolize when food and water are scarce. In addition to their humps, camels have other ways to adapt to their environment. They have a third, clear eyelid that protects their eyes from blowing sand. Two rows of long lashes also protect their eyes. Sand up the nose can be a problem, but not for camels. They can shut their nostrils during sand storms. Camels like to stay together in groups called herds. The herds are led by a dominant male, while many of the other males form their herd called a bachelor herd. Camels are very social and like to greet each other by blowing in each other's faces. Humans have used camels as a means of transport for thousands of years. They can carry about 170 to 270 kilograms on their backs. This earned these beasts of burdening a nickname, ships of the desert. Domestic camels are often the main source of meat, milk and even leather or wool products. Most camels tower above humans. A Bactrian camel, according to the San Diego Zoo, grows to a shoulder height of 6 feet or 1.8 meters and a body length of 10 feet or 3 meters. They normally weigh 600 to 1,000 kilogram when they are fully grown. Dromedary camels get up to about 6.5 feet or 2 meters tall at the shoulder and weigh 400 to 600 kilogram. Camels aren't picky about what they eat. Their thick lips allow them to eat things that most other animals couldn't, such as thorny plants. Camels are herbivores, though, so you won't find them eating meat. Filling up on water, when it's available, is very important for camels. They can drink 30 gallons or 113 liters of water in just 13 minutes. Their bodies rehydrate faster than any other mammal. When there are little food and water, the camel's hump fat releases water, 9.3 grams of fat releases 1.13 grams of water. 